Hysteroscopy is a procedure, is a surgical procedure to see inside your uterus. It's performed through a telescope, a very tiny small telescope, which is inserted through your vagina, through the cervix, into the uterine cavity. By this way, at the end of this hysteroscope telescope, there is a camera and a light, so the surgeon or the performer can see the inside of the uterus on the monitor, and different surgical uh, issues can be performed at the same session. By this kind of surgery, no cuts need to be made into your skin. Hysteroscopy is performed to view, to visualize the inside of your uterus. If you're undergoing a hysteroscopy of dilatation and curettage, it's called DC, we just dilate the cervix a little bit more and then we do this procedure to treat you for heavy bleeding, some kind of fibroids or polyp removal. Dilatation and curettage uh, DNC hysteroscopy is performed under uh, general anesthesia usually and we go inside to your room, through your vagina, through the cervical canal. We do this kind of surgery for removal of fibroids and polyps, and in this way we can treat your bleeding problems. Fibroid removal is sometimes possible by hysteroscopy. There are different kinds of fibroids, myomas, which some of them are in the inner side of the uterus. According to the last classification system by FIGO, we just uh, categorize the fibers with numbers. If you're having a FIGO number 0, 1 or 2 fibroid, then it's in the inner lining of the cavity. This kind of fibers are usually removed to vaginal root by hysteroscopy. Myomectomy by hysteroscopy, uh, fibroid removal is a daily basis surgery. Depending on the size and the location of the fibroid, it's usually completed in one session. Hysteroscopy is usually performed to diagnose and treat different kinds of uterine problems. Uterine polyps are one of the structural abnormalities where you need a hysteroscopic polyp removal. This kind of surgery is, is performed through the cervical canal through the vagina and the camera is inserted to inside of the cavity, the uterine, in a lining and the polyp is resected by hysteroscopy and the removed specimen is sent for pathology in order to diagnose any cancerous lesions. In general, there are two types of hysteroscopy. One is for diagnosis, that's called diagnostic hysteroscopy. The other one is operative hysteroscopy, which is performed to treat the patient for bleeding problems. Any structural conditions inside the uterus, like polyps or fibroids, myomas, can be removed by hysteroscopy. Diagnostic hysteroscopy is a very short, uh, takes a very short period of time and can be performed in the office or in the clinic. But for operative hysteroscopy, you usually need a surgical team and it's performed in the operating room. Both surgeries are daily basis. You know, even if you have operative hysteroscopy, you can be discharged from the hospital on the same day. If you're undergoing an operative hysteroscopy, that's under general anesthesia and Removal of the polyps and fibroids are performed by resectoscope or by different instruments and the removed specimens are sent to the pathology. If it's a diagnostic hysteroscopy, it's much easier, it's much uh, less painful. You cannot have anesthesia or only local anesthesia can help you during the procedure. Both kind of hysteroscopies, both surgeries does not need any cut or incisions in your uh, abdomen or in your belly.